What's up YouTube? We're coming at y'all today from the out of service gas pump in Florida. Beautiful, sunny, rainy, lightning, Florida. <laughs> Devin and I are out here actually for iCast. We got the sweet loaner and we got a couple rods and reels. Favor actually hooked us up today and we snagged a few rods. We're borrowing some of the staff members' secret stuff. We're gonna be meeting up with Priscilla out here today. I'm gonna go ahead and link her Instagram down below. She hit us up and told us she's got a fire pond. We are hoping this thing produces and there's some good ones. She's shown us pictures. Documentation beats conversation, so I'm always trying to link up with you guys. If you got photos of some big bass, let's make it happen. We went to Walmart, we got the fishing licenses. We knocked out a lot of stuff and we're ready to get after them. She's gonna be here soon. We're gonna line up one of these reels. We're gonna get some baits tied on. We got some frogs, we got some flukes. We got the gold standard out here in Florida. We're gonna get rocking and rolling here real soon. Okay, we have four rods total, one is a spinning. All we brought was casting reels, but they gave us a spinning reel as well. So we've got the whole nine covered. We got a couple braid uh, setups and a couple fluorocarbon setups. And guys, if you follow us on Instagram, I just mentioned this little travel tip. What we have here is a rubber band. You can just rubber band this down here, go around the seat twice. And then what happens is you just tighten that up. You can even get your handle straight. And now you've got your reel ready to go for travel. In case you coming out here to Florida, like us. Lastly guys, we're throwing a lot of new gear on today's video. I hope you're gonna dig it. We'll tell you more about all this stuff in a minute, but if you haven't seen our previous video, which I'll link at the top of the description on how to line the spools of your new reels on the fly, give it a gander. We'll put it down there in the description, like I say. Check us out, we just got the line on the ground here, and we are just cranking in the spool at the moment. New favorite saltwater combo. Should be able to crank on anything we pull out of these ponds here today. Thing is back in the car, including the seven, eight rigged heavy rod. Basically all we've got is heavy artillery today. We have one spinning combo that we tied a chatterbait to. If we can get a seven, eight to fit in the Ford Fiesta, man, so can y'all. Get you a compact car, hit the ponds. Okay, we just picked up Priscilla in the rental Fiesta. We got eight <laughs> rods in here. <laughs> we literally have eight rods in yeah, here. We do. Oh and uh, we're about to have some fun, you guys. The thunderstorms are like on the horizon. Let's get over to the pond, shall we? Top, top, top. Let's put this video together. Okie dokie. Without giving away the location of this top secret juicy little honey hole, we have arrived. Chatterbait tied on with a little paddle tail swim bait. Rage Swimmer, 3.75 inch. It almost looks like that Guggen Baits blue baby color since that's the only thing I can really reference. I use those a lot. <laughs> Y'all hear the bass thumping? <laughs> That's how you start a vlog right there. Look, just because we ain't in Texas, don't mean we're not throwing the ice white. And check this out, guys. The favorite Rush 7.3 Heavy. Woo-wee. That'll pop a fluke. I got you. Yeah, oh, yeah, I know. Oh, no way. Yeah, oh, oh there, there. Oh, no. Dang it. For that sure. That sounded real good. Check the drag too, because we've never used this reel. Oh no, I did. I thought it was tight enough. Lightning's got him excited. Where are they at? I think I'm going to go with the darker bellied frog for half a second and see if they like it. Otherwise, I might do that Sanko. Let's check this sucker out. We got the uh, Emperor on deck with the dark froggy. Okay, new plan. I'm going to. Uh, chop off this frog and I think I'm gonna go with a Sanko. Where is the fluoro? There's the fluoro. Metanium DC. This is the Emperor. Literally we didn't bring anything so we like met up with Favorite and I'm like using some of their stuff. Yeah since I knew Favorite was here I figured we could borrow some. Got lucky. Yeah if not we we're gonna go to Walmart. Here we go guys this is completely obnoxious. This is like a $750 combo basically. We've got the Emperor and the Metanium DC with like $20 line and then a Sanko. He's on. First cast. Yep. <laughs> I got the petite guy. <laughs> First cast on the Senko. I think we found it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna jinx nothing. We found the giants though. This is why you come prepped with a 7.4 heavy rod. Let's get you back. That's the first fish, not the size we want, but we are gonna take that catch and try and snag us some more. Let's get a fresh Senko in here. I was working it so slow. It was close to the bank. Here, cast this weightless real quick. Let me hold that. I, I think you'll like it, like fling it. It's the DC and it's got that heavy rod. See, that's not that bad, right? First time fling. We don't have this one. This one's theirs. I need to get one though. When I was in Chicago, I used this one. AP had it and I was like, this is legit. And then they had one on the bus today and I'm like, hey, can I use that? <laughs> Devin and I just swapped combos. We're gonna try and catch something on the 
MGL Scorpion and the Rush Rod for you guys. Same setup. I like this. Yeah. You can feel like everything with this rod though. Yeah. There he is. There he is. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Number two. Yep. Dude. 10 out of 10. Oh no. Almost. The worm flew off. Well dang. Okay. Fresh Senko on the Rush Scorpion. Let's go. Well, I just might have put them in the bag. Now they're in my pocket. It's been raining on us the whole time. We are determined to get some big fish here. We're going to make a quick move to the other pond, you guys. We've had those couple fish here, but we're thinking they might be acting different in this other body of water right across the street. Switching into the flip-flops since it's quite wet. Shoes getting super soaked. All right, we're about to see if it's munch time on the Guggen baits. We're out here in Florida and they're not hitting on much, so maybe the Guggen scent is going to get their attention. Oh, look, they're starting to jump now. Oh, we can't mess around. Y'all got to get in here. We go look. You know not to mess with the fishermen. Got Decent. <sighs> Woo! Oh my goodness. I'd say two and a half to three. About time. On the bandito bug, guys. Blue baby. There we go. First uh, solid largey out here in Florida. Right here in this corner, we've been fishing this whole thing but they're starting to get active now that it stopped raining. I'm gonna have to like mail you bandito bugs because I might request another one. <laughs> yes, she's hooked up. He's a little. Hi. I don't even think he's a bass. What is it? It's a ginormous bluegill. Oh my gosh. Bluegill. <laughs> Dude, so what's wrong with his belly? That is so fat. What? No way. This is the fattest bluegill you have ever seen. I got a new PB, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. We're headed to the other pond again, so I'll see you back at the first one. Oh. Yes, 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 I knew it. Get it, girl. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. No, yeah, yeah. Tight. Bring it down. That's a big one. No. That's a huge fish. Keep that tight, Devin. Oh, no. That was like seven pounds. Oh my gosh. Oh. That was him. You better throw it back in there. He might bite again. There's a chance that, not him, but there's a chance that you, that was your biggest fish. That would have been bigger than my fish, I think. Re-rig the crack and crawl. Fuck. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. Oh! No! Don't even! Don't walk towards it! Keep it down, keep it down. Keep it down, Devin. That was huge. This one's huge. This one's huge, babe. Go in there, go in. This one's huge, babe. Devin, get it, get it, get it. Where's he at? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my God. That's a big ass fish. Grab that fish, grab that fish. Now what are you doing? She's walking. I can't. That thing's huge. Oh my God. Oh my God. Devin just got her PB. This thing is probably bigger than any fish I've ever caught on this channel. Oh my gosh. This thing is huge. Oh my God. No uh, I can't way. even talk right now. Hold on. So what happened? I, I cast it in there. We came back from the other pond. I cast it right where I had missed one earlier. I was popping along and this like slammed it. He started jumping up and I didn't keep my rod low. He broke off and then I cast it back in there and I'm pretty positive this is the same fish because look, <laughs> look at the top of his mouth and oh his little side gosh. gill. Oh my god, I'm shaking. This is the biggest we fish have to see what this ever thing weighs. Caught. Just give him a little dip. Just needs to breathe for a second. We're gonna get a weight on him. Definitely my PB though. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Look at this thing go. It's just slow rolling through here. Hey. <laughs> Look y'all, we have to absolutely 100% thank Priscilla for taking us out today. You gotta check out her Instagram and uh, we're about to get back in here. No, the show's not over. Yeah, I Don't think the bite over. is just getting started you guys and we kind of identified what they want. That was two hits, we believe by the same bass back to back. And I was trying to go in there after it and like get it for her and she just pulled him up onto the bank. So where was I? All right, we gotta get some more you guys, insane. All right guys, so I just caught my new PB. 
six pounds, three ounces, holy crap, on the Guggenbait Crack and Craw in Blue Baby. And you guys can use the link in the description below and get 30% off your bait so you can go catch some monsters like that bass too. <laughs> it's time to play catch up. Oh. Got one, got one, got one. He's decent, he's decent. Oh, that's a four. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do you have those little scissor deals? Yeah, oh, I knew I knew he had it that second mic. Not quite as big as hers, but you know, it'll do. <laughs> the night's coming to a close. We still got another half hour's worth of sunlight, I would say. And uh, we're gonna try and crank on these for as long as possible. I literally just saw another swirl right where Devin caught that six plus. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get in there because I was telling Priscilla as well that half the time I think if there's a good feeding grounds, the bass are just gonna circle up and they're just gonna be on a little continuous loop coming up to feed. And so your boy right here decided it was his time for a little crack and crawl action, so we had to feed him that blue baby. But now we're gonna get him back in the water. We're gonna try and hunt for one a little bit bigger than this to just a little nightcap. How about that? Dick. Go on. Those eyes. Whoa, I saw, no way. Yes. Oh, yes. do you have a fish? Do you have a fish or grass? It's a fish. No way. She's on. Get the camera. Get the camera. Huge. It's huge. It's huge. It's huge. Devin, quickly. It's huge. The biggest one of the night. Hold on, hold on. We're closing out with this little dinker, but it has been an amazing day. We got two good ones, we got a like almost seven pounder, and all the good ones were caught on the crag and claw. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Hit the notifications bell to see all the future videos. Devin's probably gonna catch a 10 pounder before me next, who knows. Priscilla's gonna get the release on the finest catch of the day to end the vlog, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out until the next one. Let's let little tight go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs>